Yes, people, how are we doing today? And you know what it is, the black kit's on, it's an away day, I cannot wait. Whether we're gonna be playing in this today, I don't really know, but today's a massive one, and it's a ground I've always been wanting to do since the beginning of this season, kicked off on that. Kenilworth Road, looting away, here we go. We got the golden ticket, like I said, and I'm absolutely buzzing, and I'm really looking forward to it as well And that. Make sure to check my Luton versus Palace preview out on that as well up on the top right corner it should appear in that too Just make sure to check it out I've done my score prediction my predicted starting 11 and my thoughts going into this game and that as well as a massive game for both sides as it always is for a premier league match for palace and that you know what i mean it's a must win i expect nothing but three points i expect nothing but plenty of goals i see there was it alicia and they're going to be starting in that as well um together for the first time in almost six months so i'm looking forward to that you know hopefully it's the game we could push on and kick on and try and keep pushing for that top 10 spot even though yes there is a long way to go between now and the end of the season and like I said in my prediction, I said we win by three goals to one and that. I'm confident, I'm optimistic, I'm back in the team as always, you know what I mean? I also said the same in my Premier League score predictions on TikTok. Make sure to check it out if you haven't. My TikTok will be in the link in the description down below, as will all the rest of my socials and that. My TikTok, obviously, my Twitter, my Instagram and my Snapchat, all four of them are down there below and that. But yeah, it's all about the Palace today, man. It's all about the result. It's all about the win. And we just need to be clinical. We need to be ruthless. We've done well away from home. You know, pretty crap, pretty rubbish at home so far this season but away we're shining high in that so let's keep it up and let's get the three points so come on you eagles man and let's bring it on and yeah i'm looking forward to it i cannot wait to be going into the most weirdest away end in premier league history it's gonna be pretty ironic gonna be pretty unique and i'm looking forward to it the most man i'm looking forward to a result see you there kind of for it come on the palace Nando's and Loon, got the Man City game on, it's 0-0. Out of five, out of five, what would you give your meal? Out of five. Three. Three. Probably give mine the same, to be fair. Nice nice chicken fries, but the garlic bread's a bit. So the chips are average with that. Oh, they burnt it. Yeah, true. Score prediction. 2-1 um, Paris. 2-1's your prediction, yeah? Who's yeah. gonna score? Um, S.I. and um, Alise. Alise, nice, nice. Right, so that is the team lineup, and Schlup is on the left. Are you? Has he been dropped, I'm guessing? I don't even know. But Alise, Eze, yeah, he's been dropped. Yeah. It's the back four I predicted with. It was Johnson and Goal, Lerma, De Kure. Yeah, it's basically my lineup, but I use out for Schluck. Unbelievable. I don't know if you lot could see, but I'm gonna be I'm meant to be sitting in that left-hand side, but I might not. But if you look over here, there's benches. They're not even seats. Like like these plastic ones are proper plastic seats, but over there, just benches, man. It's unbelievable. I mean, and this bit I think we're all standing like terracing and I don't even know what it is, but it's the worst stadium ever in the Premier League that I've been to and I've seen in my life. <laughs> I'm on the palace, man. Yos. Massive game. We ain't got no one in there though. Very open and lively game, but he's a little bit sharper. Oh, score! Eze with a shot and Schlepp with a rebound, bro. Oh man, go. Ball across the box there. No one was there to try and clear it away. It could have gone anywhere. We're playing rubbish. The game's putting me to sleep, really. It's been useless, man. Final third, and now we're just sitting back off them. Poor. It's depressing to watch. 
Just listen to the frustration. That's what I'm gonna say. Listen to it. It's sitting off then. Now I played a bit of football. This is more like it. Ah, oh, cheaply giving it away, man. Come on. Come on. One of them gotta hit this man. Come on. Oh my god. Eze. Man. You're the fit to referee. You're the fit to referee. <laughs> Awful, bro. The ref is poor. So I gotta say, man, pathetic, useless, man. A nil, nil. What a load of rubbish. I mean, nothing's going our way. It's all about the officials being rubbish, as the usual. It's like same old stuff, man. I'm lost for words and. If they've been playing on that second half, we ain't gonna be getting anything. I mean, against Luton Town, Luton, I mean, come on, man. Waste of time, this is, man. It's playing like a bunch of morons. It's nothing at all. We're, doing, we're making it harder for ourselves rather than keeping it simple. He's got to fix up. He's got to, I, I just get franker on, maybe. Or even I. It's just not, it's not good enough, man. No quality at all, man. AJ just dropped off there. Might be another hamstring injury. He's just come back. Maybe we did bring him back too early. Looks bad. He's coming off. And Frank is coming on. Or Ayu is coming on. And off goes Eze. And on comes Ayu for Eze. And get better Eze, man. Now it gets even worse today. Check the Kure's now injured. Looks like a knee injury. Serious one. Oh, God. We got no luck. We have got no luck. It's bad. It is bad. Now the stretch has even come on as well. This is a bad one. This is a bad one. Oh my God. Off he goes. Not good. Not good. Not good. Two of your best players going on for the space of three minutes. We're in big trouble. Checking it, Arthur. Here we go. Here we go. Another 20 minute check. No goal. Apparently it was a handball. Ah, oh, sit down and shut up. Got no luck. No luck. Come on, Eagles. <laughs> Fucking shit. Absolutely pathetic, bro. Absolutely pathetic. Man. Oh, for Christ's sake! Go to hell! I suppose at least, eh? do anything are we? By the looks of it, it's going to be four defeats out of five. Like, my voice is gone because I'm fuming right now. Right. I mean, this is beyond embarrassing to lose to 2-1 to Luton. They haven't even been that good. They're there for the taking. But we're just useless. It's nothing to do with the Kure and Eze going off. We should still win and get signed but we're just losing man. It's like, it's embarrassing. 12 minutes added on. Oh, we'll just put the... Oh my God, playing around at the back too much man. It's going to cost us. It's gonna cost us again if we're not careful, I swear down. It's 
no one there. It's nothing's working for us, you know. Ah! Free aim for release day. Big shots. Got to get on target. But we are an absolute load of crap. So I've got to say. It's like... Oh, God. God. We just can't. I don't know how we missed that. I don't even know where did it. It's looting. Ah. Oh. Here we go. It's not for it's not our days. It's just like it's safe. No, I ain't blowing he ain't blowing for it yet. Zip, zip. We are so rubbish onside there. Not even pressing! We are useless. That's what I'm gonna say. We are absolutely dire. Yeah. No, no words. No comment. Rubbish. I'm out of here, man. Rubbish. I'm absolutely fuming right now. I mean, Crystal Palace are an absolute disgrace as a club on the pitch. You know, regarding results. Regarding the way we've been playing this season, we are an absolute disgrace. We are absolutely shambles. I'd rather watch I'm a Celebrity than watching that. You know what I mean? The December fixtures we got coming up, we're screwed. We are screwed. I'm not even going to list who we're playing next because after losing to Luton Town, to Luton Town, no disrespect to them, but come on. Nearly promoted Luton, haven't won a home game all season. Oh, they're plus. Of course they beat us, don't they? I mean, we, we, we just got no luck, but at the same time, we deserve it because we deserve to lose because we're just a waste of space. We're just absolutely f***ing useless. And that's my opinion on it. I just think we're clueless. You know, there's no ambition. There's no direction of where the club's going in. Um, you know, we're just, there's no sort of system. There's no style of play. There's no identity. We've been sloppy lately. You can see the sloppy goals. Apparently, we're meant to have the best defence in the league where you could forget that, you know. I mean, I look at us, you know, overall as well. Going forward, we've got the worst forward line potentially in the Premier League between Arsenal, Sheffield, United. Honest to God. And... I think this is the beginning of things getting worse. You know, the wheels have come off again, but this is just the beginning that, you know, things are going to absolutely go in December for us, in my opinion. And I guarantee you at some point next month, we'll be in the bottom three if this continues, which is probably going to happen, you know, with the likes of Man City, Liverpool and Chelsea coming up in that wretched run and Brighton too. Honest to God, I've got no confidence in this team. I've got no confidence in the club. You know, when you lose to a side like Luton Town, that pretty much sums up where you are as a club. So Mr. Parrish at the end of last season saying, we're going to take this club to the next level. Well, our next level, we're not careful. And it's definitely most likely potentially going to happen at this rate. It's a championship. You know what I mean? Talking out, it's awesome. There's no communication to the fans. And it's just, it's just embarrassing, man. It's just pathetic. You know, it's just absolutely pathetic the way things are running off the pitch of Crystal Palace right now. And I don't want to hear all of this nonsense. Oh, we had two of our best players going off injured. Absolutely nonsense. Shut your noise. Just shut up. Palace fans saying, oh, look, Eze and Dekure went off, you know. It's like, come on, this is Luton Town away. I mean, for Christ's sake, we haven't played these lot for, what, almost 15 years. I mean, come on. I mean, it, it, it's just shambolic. And fair, like I said, fair play to them. You know, they wanted it more. They were hungry. The fans got behind them. And, you know, they, they, they pushed them on to victory. And we, we, they just took their chances. And we just can't finish the toffees. Simple as that. I mean, I've just had enough. Parish needs to go. That fraud had enough of him. Am I Royal? I'm not gonna lie. I think you, you know, if we lose to West Ham, then I'd consider sacking him. It's not really his overall fault over the last few months, years, and that that we're in this position. Do you know what I mean? But the results: four defeats out of five. You know, defeats to Luton and Everton. Come on, it's not good enough. It's an absolute joke, and it's just putrid. Absolutely putrid. I, I hate to say it, but I think overall. You know, this club's a failure over 10 years. It's been failure, failure. You know, we haven't gone anywhere. We're not pushing on. I mean, there's no way that team's getting top 10, let alone top 15. In my opinion, I think we're in a relegation battle. I think we're, you know, just at, we're just falling like a stone right now. And it's just going to get worse. It's just going to get worse. I think the positive is at least this goal was stone. He was our best player. He's the only player that's got a bit of spark, character and charisma going forward. The rest of them are absolutely useless in my opinion so that's just the way i got to say about it to be fair you could agree with me you could love me you could hate me i couldn't care less this is how i feel about the club and this is my opinion and i've had enough i've, I've reached a point in the point when you lose to a side like luton town luton town i mean come on we, we lost to like sheffield united in the past forest last season everton do you know what i mean but luton town i mean it's an absolute 
show, honestly. So I'm just going to leave it at that because I'm sick to death of this club right now. It's depressing and it's just absolute hell and nothing's going to change. The same thing season in, season out, all because of this mug sitting on top of the flipping, you know, club and that. Mr. Parrish, he hasn't done anything. Poor spending in the summer and yeah, there's just nothing really. Just nothing. Just absolutely useless, man. Honest to God, I've just had enough. So, yeah. See you a lot next week at West Ham. <laughs> I'm probably going to deliberately get there late because I've, just, I've got no excitement and I've got no confidence within this club and this team anymore. You know, we are in the mud. So, see you a lot in a bit. CPFC, shame on you. And, yeah, credit to the fans today. And that we showed up in our numbers. Big up to you a lot. You showed up today for looting away. I'll catch you on next time because that was absolutely hideous and just sickening to my stomach.